Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Samsung DeX for Windows 10. This is a new app from Samsung that turns your Galaxy Note 10 and likely other Galaxy phones in the future into a DeX workstation. So DeX, for those who don't know, is a feature on the Galaxy devices that sort of turns your phone into a desktop. It's kind of like Continuum for Windows phones back when that was a thing, except powered by Android. And now Samsung has released an app, if we go to samsungdex.com, that um, turns your actual Windows PC into a dock for Samsung DeX. So as you can see here, we go to samsungdex.com and that will take us to the website where we can download this for Windows 7, Windows 10, and I assume Windows 8, as well as Mac OS. Today we're taking a look at the Windows 10 version, so we click on this link and that should begin downloading the setup. Now, to run the setup, make sure your Galaxy Note 10 isn't actually plugged into your PC because it requires it not to be. Uh, and then once uh, that the setup's done, then you can uh, go to the start menu and run Samsung DeX like that. And then you can plug in your Galaxy Note 10 or other compatible Galaxy device. So I'm plugging mine in here. And just like that, we are now in Samsung DeX. So there we go. Here is Samsung DeX running on top of my Windows 10 PC. Now we can uh, make this full screen if you want to. And now it looks like I'm just using a DeX device, uh, even though this is a Surface of sorts. Okay, so here we are within the Samsung DeX environment now. As a reminder, this is running on top of my Windows 10 PC. This hasn't installed this environment onto my device. This is being powered directly by the Galaxy Note 10 itself. So all of the apps on here are on my actual phone and I can run them whether they be an app that hasn't been designed for DeX or has been designed for DeX, they all run absolutely fine within the DeX environment. So for example, if I want to open up say Edge here, we can load Edge up and that will load up any website and stuff so I can browse the web just like I normally would here. Now the Edge UI does work okay in this environment. Uh, but it isn't designed for Samsung DeX, so it's sort of stretched out. It's definitely a mobile UI up here and stuff. And if we click on buttons like this, you know, th this could be optimized better, but, you know, it works well enough for it to be okay here. And we can minimize that and move on to doing something else. And that continues to run in this sort of taskbar down here. Let's open up another one. Let's open up, say, let's open up Word. Now, Word is one of those apps that has been optimized for DeX. So if we click in here, you can see that the UI has been adjusted so that it's no longer using a sort of mobile UI, but rather a, a UI that's more custom to mouse and keyboard. So I have my usual sort of ribbon UI up here. Do I still call it the ribbon? Let's call it the ribbon. The ribbon UI up here, as well as the ability to sort of right click and do stuff like that. We can begin typing and whatnot as well. We can minimize that and move on to something else. If we go into, say, OneNote, sorry, Outlook, um, Outlook is another app that has a UI that's sort of accustomed to this larger screen size. So we have a three column layout here, just like on desktop. If I click on an email, we get a sort of preview of it here on the far right side. I can reply to it saying that's awesome. Although I can't type today, apparently. I can send that off if I really want to. And that works just like that, which is very nice. Let's minimize that. Now, there are some apps that you can't resize. Um, so if we go into Cortana here, for example, this is an app that sort of remains like this. You can't resize it and stuff. You can force it to be resized if you enable like some experimental features. If we go to Dex Labs here, force apps to resize. Press back. We can now resize this. And although this isn't optimized to do so, we can um, just make it bigger. And that will ask us to restart the app. But now, as you can see here, I'm able to make it full screen and whatnot. Uh, the UI isn't designed to be this large, obviously, but um, you can do it if you really need to. We come down here, we can sort of see our status bar. We can see our time, our volume, um, our quick actions here, as well as our signal, our Wi-Fi signal, and our phone's notifications. So there you have it, that's a quick look at Samsung DeX running on Windows 10. And to remind everyone, this is in fact Windows 10. Um, although I don't know how to, to leave. <laughs> this has everything, it's basically Windows, but powered by Android. It has an even task switcher here. It has, um, you know, thumbnails in the taskbar down here. You can right click on things. It's great. It's really quite nice, um, but I can't leave. Oh, I think exit text. There we go. And there you go. We're back on our Windows 10 PC, just like that. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.